Welcome to everyone to Sauce Time Gaming. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video once again. And today we're going to be actually covering our last episode on our recall breakdown series, at least for now, uh, with the NZ41. This is episode 14, and we pretty much run out of LMGs and assault rifles to use for long range best recoil builds. Um, I, I am thinking a little bit about how I want to approach maybe providing some builds for the SMGs, but because most of the time SMGs are pretty much built to, you know, eliminate people as quickly as possible, they don't they tend to be as um, coveted as maybe a long range build for a weapon where you're getting, you know, really accurate builds. So uh, I'm going to think a little bit about how I want to uh, approach the SMG category, but for now, we're going to be covering our final weapon, the NZ-41, and talking a little bit about what the strengths and weaknesses of this weapon um, are, and uh, of course, give you the best long-range build, which um, unfortunately won't be the strongest of all the builds. But without further ado, if you do enjoy today's video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to watch all the regulars for Sauce Time Gaming. Without further ado, let's get right into the testing. So, as the testing happens in the background, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things that are probably obvious for a lot of people already, and it's the fact that the NZ-41 is just not the best long-range assault rifle by any means. And uh, it's similar to the situation with the Volkssturm Gewehr. Uh, the bullet velocity is a little bit slower. Well, in the case of the Volk, it's slower than all other assault rifles, or at least it feels that way. And for the case of the NZ-41, it's even slower than the Volks, or at least that's how it feels. And so your bullet registry and how much you have to lead a target based on how far they are feels a little bit weird. And maybe this is just a misconception based on how the recoil is. And uh, once you get to use the weapon, you'll understand exactly what I mean by that. But there's some sort of inconsistency either with the bullet velocity or with the recoil pattern itself that makes this weapon exceptionally difficult to use at long range. However, we've been able to put together after a lot of different testing, um, we've been able to find the best recoil pattern for long range. Now, it's pretty clear from the recoil patterns that you were able to see from the testing phase here. The recoil on the NZ-41 is extremely erratic. It had so many different random patterns within it, and it makes it extremely difficult to really pinpoint one specific attachment that makes it work well. So although the NZ-41 could be a very good sniper support or close range option, we're trying to look for the long range setup, the best long range setup, and uh, let's go ahead and cover that now. And I just wanted to say this because the recoil pattern on the NZ-41 is not going to be perfect on this build, but uh, it really was the best that at least we were able to find in the testing. So let's talk about it. So the best NZ-41 is this build right here. Now, again, we've gone through so many different builds to find which one gave a consistent and not so messy recoil pattern. And as you can see from the clip right here, this build right now is pretty much the best one and the one I've been using for Rebirth quite a lot and uh, I found that it does feel consistent and it does feel like you are able to hit those long range shots. Again, this is not the easiest weapon to use but uh, pretty much this is the best of the best at least that based on our testing we were able to find. So we're running the MX Silencer, the Orb Weaver 360mm which is the best one for control. Um, the burst barrel does say that it adds control, but when you change to that full auto, it gives an incredibly crazy recoil pattern. So you definitely don't want to use the full auto mode here. And uh, the Carver foregrip gave us the best consistent control here as well. The 50 round um, is not just about having the bigger uh, magazine on this weapon. It's about the actual fact that the recoil pattern with the 50 round is easier to control than the 40 round so just keep that in mind it's not a matter of you know this weapon feels slow so let me change to the 40 it's a matter of the recoil pattern comes from and is aided by the 50 round mag the uh, lengthen just because you definitely need this if you want to run it as a long range build the rubber grip is surprisingly if you saw from the testing phase is actually the best grip for this weapon I have no idea why, but the best recoil pattern came from using this grip specifically. So don't let anyone tell you that the polymer is the best because it is just not the case. Uh, the optic is whatever you prefer. I would suggest something that adds recoil control. I haven't tested the 3 to 6x, uh, so I'd have to do more testing in that sense. But the 2.5 felt 
relatively good in most of my fights, so I would go for that one. The Lore Mark III uh, is great because it gives you that sustained uh, control and sustained fire, and if you're mounting, crouched, or prone, you'll get a little bit extra help there, although the randomness increases when you crouch or prone for a lot of these attachments, so uh, we were just aiming to get the best standing up recoil pattern. And then this card is actually an interesting twist here because um, there really is no recoil controlling perk currently. Brace doesn't work and it hasn't worked since the day these Vanguard weapons were added to Warzone, so definitely don't be running that. You could run Frenzy if you want. This is aimed to be the long range setup, so you're not going to be depending much on getting that health back. Maybe in most scenarios, Acrobatic could be an option to move a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, Discard feels great. If you empty your mag, you'll get a quite a fast reload. So uh, that's helpful for long range engagements when, of course, you're missing shots because of how this weapon is overall. And then fully loaded. With that, this is probably, for now, or until any buff happens with the NZ41, the best long range NZ41. And there you have it. Thank you truly for reaching this point of the video. If you did, the Recall Breakdown series will probably slow down now that we've covered all Vanguard weapons and we'll have to wait for new weapons to be added, new long range weapons um, for us to be able to continue with this series. But if you do want to check it out, make sure to click on the playlist up here and you can see any of the Vanguard weapons for long range that you would like to personally build and uh, take advantage of. Now, I have a video coming up talking about the best way to adjust your controller settings to snap like a mouse and keyboard player and remain accurate at long ranges. So definitely stick around with your notifications turned on if you want to be notified as soon as that video comes out. But with nothing else left to say, once again, thank you for being a part of the channel. And if you're not, then consider subscribing as it's free for you and it greatly helps the channel grow. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And on to the next one, I hope you always remember. Sauce Time Gaming.